There was grave concern at Royal Burgers Zoo in Arnhem. Mama, the 59-year-old chimpanzee matriarch, had not eaten or drunk for several days. Her condition was deteriorating quickly, and the zoo staff feared the worst. Amidst this tense atmosphere, the arrival of a familiar face was about to change everything. Mana was not just an ordinary zoo resident. She was a living legend, a respected leader of a thriving colony of chimpanzees. However, age was taking its toll, and Mama's health began to fail her. Despite all the efforts of the staff and veterinarians, her condition continued to deteriorate. The zoo staff was in despair. They remembered how Mama had bravely endured many challenges over the years and could not come to terms with the thought of her passing. Unfortunately, they understood it was a natural process and could only ensure she was as comfortable as possible during these difficult days. It was especially hard to realize that Mama would never know the enormous impact she had on the lives of people and science in general. Born in the wild, she became part of pioneering research on primate behavior from the moment she arrived at the zoo. Her life in captivity was part of a large program to preserve the chimpanzee species. Mana was born in the wild but was orphaned early due to poachers. She was rescued and brought to the zoo, where she became the focus of primate behavior research. At the zoo, Mama quickly adapted and demonstrated exceptional intelligence. She formed strong bonds with both her kind and humans. Her leadership skills and care for others made her a key figure in maintaining harmony in the colony. Mama taught young chimpanzees important survival and social interaction skills. Mama developed an especially close relationship with Professor Jan Van Hoof, a renowned primatologist. He met her in 1972 when he was involved in setting up the chimpanzee colony at the zoo. A unique bond developed between the young scientist and the charismatic chimpanzee based on mutual respect and affection. Jan often visited Mama, spending long hours observing and communicating with her. Years passed, and Mama grew older. In 2016, when she was already 59 years old, her health suddenly declined. She stopped eating and became so weak that she barely moved. The zoo staff was in despair. It seemed Mama was living her last days. They informed Jan Van Hoof, who had long since retired. Upon hearing the sad news, Jan immediately went to the zoo. Despite his advanced age, he felt he had to see Mama one last time. It was not just a scientific mission, but a deeply personal need to say goodbye to a creature that had become an important part of his life. When Jan arrived at the zoo, he was warmly welcomed by the staff and led to Mama's enclosure. She lay motionless with her eyes closed. Her frail body was a spark contrast to the energetic image Jan remembered. He quietly called her name, but there was no response. Jan did not give up. He began to hum a familiar tune he often sang during his visits. Then a miracle happened. Mama's ears twitched and her eyes slowly opened. She turned her head with difficulty and looked at January recognition flickered in her gaze. Encouraged by this reaction, Jan continued to sing a little louder and talk to Mama. He told her stories from their shared past, about their first days of acquaintance, funny incidents, and amazing discoveries. His words seemed to pierce through the fog of weakness and bring Mama back to life. Suddenly, Mama weakly moved her hand. It was barely noticeable, but it did not escape Jan's attentive eyes. He carefully took her hand and Mama slightly squeezed his fingers. This simple gesture said a lot about the deep bond between them, about trust and affection. The zoo staff watched the scene in amazement. They could not believe their eyes. Mama, who had shown no signs of life for several days, was now responding to Jan's presence. Hope began to stir in their hearts. Jan continued to talk to Mama, gently stroking her hand. He noticed that she was looking at a specific corner of the enclosure. Following her gaze, Jan saw a small pile of straw and leaves. Intrigued, he carefully approached it and began to sift through the straw. To his surprise, Jan discovered a hidden stash of food, pieces of fruit, nuts, and even primate cookies. It became clear that Mama had saved this food for a rainy day. This discovery deeply moved January even in such a weakened state. Mama retained her instinct for self-preservation and showed incredible foresight. Jan shared this finding with the zoo staff, 
who quickly incorporated this information into their care strategy for Mama. They began offering her small portions of her favorite foods to support her strength and stimulate her appetite. Gradually, Mama began to eat, at first very little but more each day. Her condition slowly but surely improved. She became more active and started to show interest in her surroundings. Other chimpanzees in the colony, noticing these changes, also became livelier and began to pay more attention to Mama. Jan visited every day, spending long hours with Mama, talking, humming familiar tunes and just being there. Their bond seemed even stronger. Mama recognized Jan, reached out to him, and responded to his voice. One day, as Jan sat beside Mama, it dawned on him. He realized why she held on to life and why she hid food. Mama was waiting for his return. Deep down, she knew he would come and save her last bit of strength for this meeting. This realization deeply touched January. He understood how strong their connection was and how deep Mama's emotions and intellect were. He shared his thoughts with the zoo staff, and this discovery gave them all new strength and determination to fight for Mama's life. Days turned into weeks. Mama gradually recovered. She began moving more and interacting with other chimpanzees. Her eyes sparkled again, showing interest in life. The zoo staff was overjoyed with these changes. Jan continued to visit Mama every day. Their communication became even deeper and more emotional. It seemed they understood each other without words. Mama often sat next to Jan, holding his hand and listening carefully to his stories. The news of Mama's miraculous recovery quickly spread through the scientific community. Many researchers came to the zoo to see this amazing chimpanzee and interact with her. Mama became a true star, a symbol of the strength of spirit and deep connection between humans and animals. The zoo organized a special program dedicated to Mama. Visitors could observe her and learn about her life and achievements. Many people were deeply moved by the story of Mama and Jan and began to see primate conservation and animal rights issues in a new light. Jan wrote a book about his experience with Mama. In it, he talked about her remarkable intelligence, emotional depth, and ability to form true friendships. The book became a bestseller and inspired many people to treat animals more humanely. Mana lived a few more happy weeks. She remained the zoo's favorite, a wise leader of the chimpanzee colony, and Jan's faithful friend. Her life was filled with love, care, and attention. When the time came for Mama to leave, she was surrounded by love and care. Jan was with her until the last moment. Mama passed away peacefully, holding Jan's hand and looking into his eyes with deep affection and gratitude. Following Mama's death, the zoo organized a memorial in her honor. Condolences and memories poured in from around the world, with many sharing how Mama's story had touched their lives. Numerous charitable organizations received donations in her memory. Mama's legacy endures, inspiring researchers, conservationists, and ordinary people. She demonstrated the profound connections that can exist between humans and animals and highlighted the importance of treating all living beings with respect and love. The Royal Burger Zoo now hosts a special educational center named after Mama, where visitors can learn about the lives intelligence, and emotional worlds of chimpanzees. The center also supports primate conservation programs in the wild. Despite his age, Jan Van Hoof remains an active animal rights advocate, frequently giving lectures about his experiences with Mama and encouraging people to treat animals more consciously and humanely. The story of Mama and Jan has become a symbol of how love and friendship can transcend boundaries, even between different species. It serves as a reminder that every living creature has a soul deserving of respect and care.